everybody, it's the Boss Lady here. Coming to you real quick, just wanted to uh, do a little bit of vlogging and show you a quick haul. I um, just wanted to let you know that everything did go well with Miss Pina's birthday party. Uh, she was very happy, so I'm glad, you know, she was not stressed. Uh, her sister and I were very stressed with everything. Um, her sister was given the wrong birthday cake. And that was an issue. And then I went to pick up her balloons and had some issues there. Uh, but I did contact the uh, district manager. And so that has been taken care of. Because, uh, you know, boss lady don't play that. <laughs> Especially when it comes to her peanuts. So, um... Overall, the party was fine. Um, all the girls had fun. We did have one who was a little bit on the whiny side. Um, you know, her parent had left her there and was late picking her up. And <laughs> for those who, who know me, know me, uh, they know I don't play that. So I was very, you know upset because <laughs> I don't babysit so you know when I say be here a certain time that's what I mean that's what I say and yeah so wasn't too thrilled with that but overall you know Miss Pina had fine I uh, had a fun time she, you know she was fine and um yeah I can't wait till the next birthday party so Moving on to Miss Peanut's birthday, it is this coming Saturday, and so Bossman and I, we have been doing this since she was born, since her first birthday. We always decorate the dining room table for her. Um, my in-laws, they always buy her like a bouquet of uh, balloons. Like you know how you give a person a bouquet of flowers. Well, my my father-in-law is we call him the flower man, and so since she is you know a little girl, he always gives her a bouquet of flowers, and so um. That will be delivered this coming, I believe, Friday. So uh, instead of doing her actual birthday dinner on her birthday, we are going to do her birthday dinner on Friday because uh, we typically do it on the day she gets her balloons. So uh, we had already planned that before, you know, um, the stuff changed with the, the sleepover. So we're just going to leave things as is. So I did go out and I ordered her her cupcake. It's about this big. Um, it's, uh, it's called a cupcake for four, but it's just one big cupcake. So I will, you know, show pictures and all that stuff of that. Um, as well as, you know, when the balloons come and all that stuff. So you guys get to see all that. Well, anyway, like I said, we do decorate for her. So I went to my party city and I found some, uh, my little pony, as you can see, that's rainbow dash there. And then here's twilight sparkle. Um, I don't see the other ponies in here. But anyway, um, I got some wrapping paper because I have not wrapped her gifts yet. Can you believe that? Because we normally, we do not give her her birthday gifts from us to her actual birthday. So, um, I'm going to have the table decorated Friday because that's what we normally do. Uh, you know, or at least have it done. And then she'll get her actual gifts Saturday morning. So, I got the wrapping paper for the gifts. Then... We always try to do fun stuff, so I found this cute hat for her, and I thought this was really cute, because since she's already had the birthday party, you know, we still like to, you know, do a little little something fun. So I picked this hat up for her, as opposed to getting a regular party hat, because this is something that she can wear all the time, because this is an actual real hat. So, and this hat was expensive. It was $7.99, but she loves fedoras, so got that for my baby. Then, because she has multiple gifts, I just picked up two of these little squirrely things. Um, one in the lighter color, one the darker color. You know, pink, blue, and purple. I had not picked up her birthday card. So, I did pick up her birthday card. And I think it's so cute. It has a little cat on it. And it says, you're the birthday princess. And so, yes, that's definitely Miss Peanut. She's mommy's princess. I picked her up some, uh, because she loves My Little Pony, I picked up these little bracelets, and it just says, I love my friends, Pinkie Pie, friendship is magic, and in best friends forever. Uh, Pinkie Pie is the pink one, and she loves that. So I just picked these up, and she can wear these, you know, either all together or one at a time. So I picked those up for her. Then I just picked up a cupcake uh, banner, and it just says happy birthday. So we'll put that up for her. Um, I also picked up a cupcake tablecloth and yet yeah, normally I normally just leave the tablecloth that's currently on the table and then just put things on it. Learned my lesson the hard way with Miss Peanut. <laughs> Her first birthday I had a snow white, a snow white tablecloth 
and I didn't think nothing of it, you know, her being one. And we were so excited, you know, and her daddy got her this Barney cake and, you know, she wouldn't really touch it because I'm the type of mom, don't get dirty. So, yeah, when she finally did get her hands dirty, she finger painted my tablecloth. So, I've learned my lesson with my good tablecloths, take them bad jiggas off. Anyway... So, <laughs> I picked her up. I want her to have a birthday sash. And I don't even know if this is going to be, um, if it's going to be too big or not. But it looks like this. And you, it had, it comes with the, uh, the numbers in here. So, I can put the number right in the middle. It says happy and then blank birthday. So, I can put on their ninth birthday. And because, um, it comes with the numbers, I can use this for the next few years. So, I thought that was kind of cool because, um, I would like for her to wear the birthday sash Friday night when she goes for, for dinner as well as all day Saturday because she'll be out and about. She's going to see, you know, friends and family. She's still going to her uh, Girl Scout um, meeting. So, you know, it's all about my peanut on her day regardless of what other folks say. So that was Party City. Then I went to um, another store called Lit and Paper. Um, and I don't believe that is worldwide. I think that is only local to us here at home. So let me grab that bag and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so some stuff is birthday related and some stuff is the boss lady related. So, like I said, we like to do fun things with Miss Pina when it comes to her birthday. We always get her like fun glasses or, you know, um, different little things. So this year I picked these up. And I thought these were so cute. And they got the little disco balls. And even though it's a lighter pink, that's okay. Um, I just thought they were really cute. And she would love these. Something fun for her. So I got these. These were, let me think. These were $5.95. So yes, they were expensive. But yeah. <laughs> then uh, she always loves these little bead, beaded necklaces. Her dad and I have been buying these for her and her grandpa for years. So she has a, an array of colors. So I got pink and purple for um, My Little Pony. So she, I just got her two. These are 25 cents a piece because she actually has a bucket full of these. But we always buy her new beads for her birthday. Not Mardi Gras style, but you know. <laughs> then I haven't mentioned this uh, in any of my videos, recent videos. But I am going to be redoing my coffee station and so while I was at Lit and Paper I came across these napkins now granted I probably could have found something at Dollar Tree but uh I just got these there because I like how they look and they have um they kind of have the colors of my kitchen so they look like this and if you can see real close there's little coffee cups in there there's birds in there the colors are uh cream brown and orange and everybody knows my kitchen is orange so um, I picked these up just for, you know, the coffee station. So I got two packs. These were $2.95. So yes, a little more than what I like to spend. But there is, does this tell me? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it was going to tell me how much. Oh, there's 24. 24 in each pack. And it's a three-ply beverage napkin. They had some other ones that had um, coffee mugs on them or something, but it had like teal and yellow besides the orange and the brown, and I just said nah. So I got these, even though these are they say they're tea tea napkins or tea time or whatever. Um, you know, boss lady drink coffee so and cocoa. So I got that. Then I got this piece of scrapbook paper. It was only fifty five cents. And I'm planning to do a DIY with this for the kitchen. So we'll see. I have not I have not gotten it all the way in my brain just yet. But <laughs> um, I got this possibly for just a base. And then I want to do something on top of there. So we'll see. I don't know. But I got that for the kitchen. Then, mind you, I'm in this store looking for party stuff for Miss Peanut, right? Mm. Well, I happened to come across an area. This store, let me tell you, it's it's supposed to be 
like party related, you know, it has balloons and paperware and all kind of party stuff, birthday stuff, um, wedding things. Cause I, we bought a lot of our wedding stuff there. Um, they do a lot of different holidays. So like right now they have the Valentine's stuff out. They even have an Easter section already. St. Patrick's day is in there as well. Um, and then like people who are doing like catering businesses, they have stuff for your catering business or for your restaurant, you know, like the takeaway plates and stuff like that. I mean, this store just has everything, but it also has a small craft section, um, you know, uh, supply section and stickers. So I found some sticker books and let me show you what I got. And I actually picked up, I picked up five. They were a dollar 15. Let me see. Yes, a dollar fifteen a pack. So just fifteen cents more than what you would get at Michael's. But hey, I couldn't pass it up. So the first one looks like this, and I like what it says, Groovy Garden. And then these are the stickers. I'll just show you just a couple of them. So they look like this. That's one page. Um, another page. So I want to say the stickers all pretty much kind of look alike, but just different backgrounds or whatever. And then they just kind of repeat. So that's the Groovy Garden. So I thought these were really cute. The next one is called Ladybug, or The Ladybug, I should say. Looks like this. And then here's one of the pages inside The Ladybug. Another page. And I'm going to move quickly because I have to pick up Miss Peanut. This next one is called Sweet Shop. Looks like that. All kinds of candy, ice creams. Little sayings. So really cute. Oh, I like that big chunk of cake right there. <laughs> then this next one is called the ABC sticker book. And I thought this was kind of cool because I've been getting into wanting to, you know, kind of write out things in my planner. Here's another page. So it has ABCs, one, two, threes, and different backgrounds. Different color backgrounds. This next one's called this is the last one. It's called Bottle Cap Sticker Book. Um, and it looks like this. And then here are some of the stickers. So I thought this was pretty cool, pretty neat. You know, when I'm feeling like I need a treat or something in my, my planner. <laughs> Whoopie pie. Or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sticky Sweet Cookie Crunch. Goody gumdrops, delish, I love candy, mm-hmm. So, yes. So, I picked that up for myself, for my planner. I thought that was so cute. So, um, so that's what I got at Litton Paper. And I was really, really impressed, very surprised, you know, you know what I got. Um, the most expensive item was Miss Peanut's glasses at that store. But for my peanut, for her birthday, I couldn't pass it up. Those are just super cute. And I know she's going to love them. She'll probably wear them Friday and Saturday. Because by the time she puts them on Friday, it'll be almost dark. So, definitely for Saturday. So, then I went to my Salvation Army. Oh, my goodness. And then, <laughs> when I got in there, the first thing I saw towards the back in the Buy by the Pound section was those blue bins. And I had a flashback. And, oh, my gosh, I got tickled to myself. But, anyway... Um, so I only got one thing in the buy by the pound section, and I am going to do a DIY with this. I cannot wait to show you the end result, because the beginning result looks kind of, mm. But it's a candle holder. Sorry for the dinging. Looks like this. It sits on a little metal stand. And whoever had it before hung these little beads on it. That's what you hear chiming and dinging and everything. These definitely are coming off. Um, the bottom of it... Let me see if I can take this off now because I can't talk with it dinging and chiming in my ears. Whoops. So, anyway, the bottom of it looks like whoever had it before tried to paint it. So, it's like a, got a, like a swirly paint on it, but it's all metal. All one piece. And I was trying to see if I could see who it's by. It just says Trend Candle Run. Trend Holder. Silver Multi-Pillar Holder. But... I don't plan to use it for no candle. <laughs> I plan to use it for something else. So hopefully these little pegs at the top, I'll probably get my pliers or my, my hammer or something 
and knock those down if I can't, you know, break them off. But, uh, yes, be, stay tuned for a DIY video. Well, I won't say DIY video. Stay tuned for a video sometime in the future. I can't say when. This is going to look totally different, and the usage for it is going to be different as well. I have been looking for something on my bucket list, and I can't find it, so I'm going to improvise, and that's what I'm going to do. So, I got that, and I only got charged, um, they had it priced at $3.99, and this was in the buy it by the pound section, so I only got it for, he didn't even weigh it, he gave it to me for one pound, so I got it for a dollar and 49 cents so that wasn't a bad deal and i mean this is actually a really nice looking um candle holder if that's what i was going to use it for which i mean possibly i might use it for a candle holder uh for valentine's day but then i have something else in mind for this thing so the last thing that i got that i have to undo this bag so let me pause the video so i can do this so the last thing i got i got it in the overflow target section of my salvation army and you know in that area they have they have some stuff that is used or have been returned damaged as well as some new items and today was red tag day and so um i walked in there and there was a sign up and it said it was pointing down to this rack once again my thrift stores have racks they hang their stuff up <laughs> so anyway this rack said, you know, look down, red tag, 50% off, right? Okay. So I saw something that looked, and I'm just going to show you a piece of it, that looked red. And I said, ooh, because, you know, false lady like a little red in her life. Mm. So I walked over there, and when I walked over there, not only did I see something red, but I also saw tags. So tags meaning brand spanking new, Okay. Walked over and I said, well, let me see how much it is. The price came in at, let me see if I can get this up here, $40, but 50% off. Guys, let me show you what I got. And then I'm going to tell you how much I paid for it. I got a red pea coat for myself. Not for Miss Peanut, for me. Now, mind you, price tag said $40, right? Sign said 50% off. I get up to the line, and I had to wait a long time. The guy said $15, please. Excuse me? I looked at that tag. I said, that say $40. Half of $40 is $20. He said $15. Here's my card. Thank you very kindly. Signed that receipt and walked out that door. I got a brand new red peacoat for fifteen dollars okay the brand is called excelled excelled collection so and here it is there and of course you know they put the line through it because you know they're selling it um you know in a different kind of a store but i could not believe this i have and <laughs> there's a story behind this red coat and then i gotta go I have been wanting a red coat since 2009. And I want to say winter 2009. I had seen a three-quarter length red trench coat. And um, my my mother-in-law was going to buy it for me. And I said, no, that's okay. Because the coat that she was going to give me was like $60, $80. And then my mother-in-law passed later that year. And I was like, dang. You know, and I felt so bad, and, and I was like, gosh, I wish I would have got that red coat, you know. Could never find another red coat at all, at least not in my price range. And so, I have been looking, 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 haven't been able to find one. Came across this bad buddy right here, $15, guys. Oh, my goodness. So, yes, I had just told Boss Man, was it Friday? Friday, I need a new coat. Because I told you guys, I think, that my red coat, my red and black coat, I had to retire it because I ripped it. It got caught on something and the the material was really, um, what, do you, what do you call it? It wasn't the best of material, so it just ripped. And it was an old coat. But I like wearing red. And as you can see in my other video, um, I think from yesterday, the coat that I had on is gray, but you can see the red collar. That coat is reversible, so it's red on one side, gray on the other. But I like 
a red coat. I don't know why. I just like to stand out like that. So I am super excited for this deal. I Oh, my goodness. $15. Oh, yes. You will be seeing Boss Lady in her vlogs in her red coat. Sure will. All right, y'all. I got to go. I got to pick up Miss Peanut from school. So just wanted to talk about it Tuesday, show you a quick haul, and now I got to go. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to Boss Lady's channel. We would love to have you a part of Boss Land. We have fun. I keep things raw and uncut at all times on this channel. So I have to go. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See y'all later. Bye-bye.